Hello, everybody, it's Bob Lopez. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we started on Wonderland and we got all the evidence to prove Alice's innocence, but in the end, she ended up disappearing. We don't know where she went. We'll find out. But uh, before we start going, I, d I just need to point out his heart, I I'm sorry, his nose and his mouth are upside down hearts. His mouth and nose are regular hearts. Kingdom Hearts, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, now to actually move on. In this episode, we're trying to find Alice. Um, also, there are new enemies called Large Bodies. And these guys are Large Bodies. Um, as I, I think I explained in the last episode, that once these guys reach a certain point of health, they go rambunctious and they try to attack whoever originally knocked them below that certain point of health. Alright, now, attack me again. I have been knocked him out. Come on, he's got too much health. Come on. There you go. Come on! Hit him. There you go. And yeah, you can only attack him from the back unless you use magic. Which is kind of unfortunate. And I don't... Yeah, I, I want to finish all these Heartless off because there's actually something I want to do. And they all need to be gone. There we go. Alright, now, you may remember this flower from the last episode. Give me a potion, I'll make you bigger. Well... Let's give it a potion again. Here. And now... We've made some platforms. So we're going to be doing some exploring back there. Let's take this. And now let's actually hit the tree and make it turn around. And I don't know why I go... Whee! And... Oh, my head. Whee! Oh, my head. Why does one way hurt and the other's... Pleasant. Oh, God, don't make any indie windows in the comments, please. Anyway, take this. And you've got to be. Oh, well, thank you, Donald. <laughs> oh, I can't even see, and I'm winning. I'm so good. See ya. All right, all right. Really don't need to knock all these guys out, but I mean, hey, experience is experience, and there you go. That's why it's good to battle. Um, so abilities we just learned slap shot, uh, rapidly strike enemies ahead of you, occasionally deals critical strike damage. Now, it's basically a very quick attack, so uh, I don't think it's gonna work on enemies. Oh, all right, you just saw it. Uh, I was going to say, I don't think it works on enemies in the air, but they're just low enough so that it works. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a good ability. It it can help with combos actually being finished. And, yeah, it, it's only worth one ability point, so why not? Uh, anyway. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to the other area first, and the next time if there's any Heartless over here, I'll just skip it. Yeah, this is basically going to be exploring all of Wonderland and then doing all the extras. Uh, kind of the opposite of what I did with Traverse Town, because uh, for Traverse Town, I went ahead and did everything in the main story, and then I did the extras afterwards. I'm kind of going to reverse this time. Alright, so there's a camping set after doing that Trinity and a bunch of magic balls. Um, now let's see. Give me a high potion. So let's give it a high potion, and this I actually recommend. Because rarely will you ever need high potions. In fact, I don't think I'll ever need high potions. This should help. Because by the time you get to a certain level in the game, to to where you'd even need high potions, you're already gonna have like a healing move so that you won't need like an item to heal yourself 
So just now I got a Mega Potion, which I can give to Doll or Goofy, and whenever they try healing one of each other, they'll automatically heal me, or like vice versa. So definitely worth it. Now, by going through there, you found Dalmatians. Now, there's actually a chest up there and a chest up there. You're going to be getting both of those in a similar manner like we just did. Alright, so now let's actually head all the way to the back. And you can talk to the other flowers and uh, see if you want anything. Let me see what this one wants. Give me an ether. This should help. Camping set. Nah, not really all that worth it. Uh, I don't even want to bother with the others, actually. I don't want to risk it. Um, now there's one particular flower in this entire world that you must avoid. I'll, I'll cover it, don't worry, but you must avoid this flower. Just keep watching the rest of the video, you'll see how bad it is. Alright, so let's see. A very merry unbirthday, sit down and get your present. Well, okay, I don't see how it could be an unbirthday. Maybe a very unmerry birthday? That would work, but nah, whatever. Um, so these guys are crying. Who knows why? Maybe because no one showed up to the tea party! This is not a birthday party, this is a freaking tea party. But anyway, the point is, they have all these, cha all these chairs. You have to sit down to get your present. Now look at this. An elixir. Completely heals all your HP and MP. You want to do this. Now, um, the rest aren't too extravagant, but um, what you have to do is skip the comfy chairs. So this has a cushion. This is a this is all cushion. And then this is a cushion. Skip all those. Well, actually, no. The last one's actually okay. I don't know why, but it's okay. Alright, so from that, you get a potion and a bunch of money. Let's hurry up and try to get all this before it disappears. It, it sucks that money just vanishes. I would have a heart attack if money just vanished from underneath me. Alright, let's see. I think this is just an ether. Yes, it is. Okay, let's sit down in the last two. And you can see it as we're going through this, like, these guys are so happy. I didn't want to say it like that, but they're so happy. Okay, uh, sit down and get your... I just noticed that the text actually changes. On the paper, the text changes. I didn't even notice that. Well, the more you know. It's cool that they did that. It doesn't really mean anything, but hey, they, they changed it. So, alright. Alright, that's a potion and a bunch of HP balls. Now, just for showing it off, let's sit in the big comfy chair. And Lord Body. And yeah, the slap shot ability is amazing. Look how fast I'm doing that attack. Oh man, I need to get to do my points because of these two. Thanks, Donald. You jerk. And now they're all like, <gasps> um. Now I would sit in the other chair and do the other fight, but not really worth it. Not worth the time. They're hiding somewhere in the and the Mumrath's out. Oh, okay, whatever. Want to find the shadows? Try turning on the light. Okay. Now it sucks. The Cheshire Cat has no voice acting dialogue. That sucks. Come on, Japan. It's all your fault. All right, come on. Hurry up and help me knock this guy out. Now you actually have to knock out all the enemies so that you can turn on the lights. Oh, oh, gee, thanks. 
fire breathing guys. Okay, you know what? Freeze! Eat freeze! Whatever the heck he's saying, don't care. Yeah. There we go. Alright, now. Kind of low on health. Let's just hope I don't die. Alright, after lighting that up, you saw a flower pop up. It's too dim. Make it brighter. What next? What do you think? He just said light up the room. And he just said, hmm, it's too dim. It needs to be brighter. There's one right here. Come on, Donald. Common sense. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob, too. That's kind of a hint that you gotta go into the regular version of the bizarre room. But, before heading there, and yes, you can head there right now. Uh, you can open up this and go to the Queen's Castle, so let's actually go in here real quick. And now, you can get one of these chests. Now we gotta go all the way back if we want to do any of this exploring. And this is all completely optional. If you don't want to do all this and get items and stuff, then go directly to the Bizarre Room and you'll be done. But I do kind of recommend this. Um, especially if you're looking for puppies. Alright, so after hitting the tree and making the leaves face this way, now you can jump up here and you have another entrance into the Bizarre Room. When you come into this room, oh, come on, more hearts. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. Terrific. Come on. Seriously, large body, just die, please. Why are you annoying? Oh, look how little I care. Ha ha ha! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh god, that was close. Thank you. Okay, and Donald gets the HP when I really need it. Wow, Donald. Your max HP just increased. Your actual HP is low. Thank God the sound doesn't go off whenever your allies have low HP. That would suck. Alright, so let's turn this on. And that makes the chest pop out. Let's open up the chest. And a defense up. Now, on expert mode, this is probably one of the most useful items in the game. Isn't that right, Teddy? The Teddy says yes. Anyway, item stock, defense up, raises defense by one. Sora, there you go. So it's basically an infinite protect chain without equipping anything. Uh, so let's touch this now. And that opens up a little painting. Let's hop in here. E examine. There we go. The, the, the examine button didn't show up right away. Okay. Uh, and you also may have noticed these other colored trinities, and you may have been wondering why you can't do them. Um, you actually have to unlock different colored trinities and you'll do that as the game progresses. So don't worry about that, but you will have to do some backtracking if you want to do all this stuff. Now, um... Give me an elixir. Do not give this flower an elixir. I think he gives you a... Well, he. I'm calling a flower he. I think it gives you a potion. It's bad. Whatever it is, it's bad. I forget what it was, but I played through and asked all the flowers for something, and it was terrible. Now, give him a potion. Alright, then. What do you have? This should help. A high potion. Yes, that's a good trade. 
That is a good trade. Let's hop back in here. And now, let's actually head over this way to another area of the bizarre room. And I think now we just, yeah, we completely flip sides. And there's gonna be more heartless. What? Oh, there they are. I'm like, wait, there's really no heartless popping up? That's weird. Okay, watch out. Okay. Alright, come on, large bodies. These guys aren't worth the trouble. Like, they're only worth seven experience, and it takes this long to kill them. Oh, Donald and Goofy are both dead, are you serious? Now, come on. Oh, I can't get behind him. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. I hate these guys. I hate them. It's not so bad later in the game when you can kill them right away. Okay, a, a little basket just popped up because we were standing there. That's just the way to stand back up. Now, if you go back into the Lotus Forest either way, then you're basically going to end up at different spots in the Lotus Forest. Um, one area, I think, goes to, um, to the lily pad where you got to go get the the blizzard thing. Uh, well, the evidence so that you can get the blizzard spell. Um, there's nothing really new that you can get from there, so don't bother going through there. Only go through these doors if it says, like, Queen's Castle. See ya! Now, let's examine this. We'll turn it. That definitely didn't hit the pot. Hold on. Alright, now that goes to the Queen's Castle. Let me make sure... Like, it's just another area of the Lotus Forest, so don't worry about that. Let's hop through here. There's another chest. That's a Meteor G, and... Did we get the last one already? I think we did? Yeah, I guess we already did. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention, but I guess we already did get the other one. Um, so now, just hover over the save point so we can heal, head in the bizarre room. You'll have a better view from higher up. If you say so. Hey. What's up, Nob? Apparently not you. Anyway, uh, let's hop up on the table. Now, if you drink, I just want to show this off. If you drink, everyone, everyone grows big. Cheshire Cat disappears. Now, let's actually make note of something. Um, why when I drink, everyone shrinks? That doesn't really make sense. Uh, anyway, before we talk to the Cheshire Cat, let's examine the pot, the, the, the plant that we flowered. Potion, potion, mithril shard. Awesome. And this was just the pathway to the Queen's Castle that we already uncovered earlier. Now, that is it. And if you're ready to fight, talk to the Cheshire Cat. No, we're not fighting the Cheshire Cat. The shadow should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad! He's hot! Pink and light purple! Say hello to the Trick Master! He is the boss for Wonderland. Kinda like Guard Armor from Traverse Town. I keep calling Traverse Town, it's Traverse Town, but anyway. 
to fight this guy, basically jump up from the side of him. And start trying to hammer him in between the legs. If you hit him, you do one hit of damage, great. But eventually, you're gonna smack him to the ground, he's gonna drop HP balls, that'll heal you, and you can sit there and wail him. Now, really? This is an extremely easy boss until his very final stage. Like, as of right now, I'm swinging and missing, but once I finally do hit him, there we go, okay. He just fell, spam X and triangle, try to do as much damage as you can, and he stands up okay. And then just rinse and repeat. This is the fastest way of doing it, really, otherwise you can get up on the table, jump off and do a combo against them, but really, I think this is more worth your time. Like, even if you swing and miss, the time it takes to go climb on the chair, then climb on the table, then jump, and then start attacking. Or, uh, hovering over the table, like, grabbing the table edge, then flipping up. Either way, it's gonna take some time. Alright, now he's gonna start walking away. This is when he's at just green, uh, HP. Uh... For the sake of not knowing what those things are actually called, I'm going to call them pom-poms. He just lit his pom-poms on fire. Um, and I'm also saying this because he's big. Anyway, um, this is the hardest part of the fight. He, he lit the things on fire, so now they're going to do more damage. But that's not really the problem. The problem is... Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, I said I would never use high potions, but I kind of had nothing else on hand. I wasn't paying attention to my inventory. Oh, God. Donald's too short. Hurry up, Goofy. Wake up. But yeah, just keep jumping up, hitting him between the legs. The, the, the fight's really not that bad. Unless you uh, get hit by the fire. Okay, and there's eventually a part where he blows the fire at you. That's kind of hard to avoid. Oh, God. That. Okay, and honestly, the closer you are, the less likely he is to hit you with that. So try to stay under him at all times. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Guys, wake up. Thank you, Goofy. Oh, God! Okay, HP, HP, HP. I hit the freaking fire! Alright, well, um I got him a little lower than I had him before, but um I, I must point out as easy as this fight was, I died to the only part where he's literally harmless. Like, I, I, I feel so bad. Like, he couldn't do anything. I just walked directly into the fire. How could I be so stupid? All right, well, let's finish him off with some fire. Fight fire with fire. Good game. GG. We'll get your crotch. What a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? <sighs> um, Donald, no one knows what that was. 
You hear that? Sound like something closed. I don't know, like, you know, a keyhole? I mean, that's what he was. Well, his he's a doorknob, but his mouth is a keyhole. And you just lock the keyhole? Hmm? Maybe? Eh? Eh? Okay. Anyway, this gummy ain't like the others. No, sir. This little gummy that just popped out. Okay, Donald's gonna hold on to it. Slip, Judge Cat. Splendid, you're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone. Off the shadows, into darkness. No. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. And Goofy points out we've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. We ain't got to go anywhere. Because the game is kind enough to bring us directly to a save point. So, that is going to do it for this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead for the gummy ship. And head off to the next world. And until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Goodbye.